Tonight, we're learning more about a gun brought to a Winston-Salem Forsyth County school yesterday. ABC 45's Bailey Stamos has more on this incident and what deputies found just one week into the school year. Yesterday during school hours, school resource officers were given an anonymous tip about a student carrying a firearm here at Carver High School. Now, resource officers confronted and searched that student and found a 9mm gun along with live ammunition. Now, law enforcement and school board leaders are urging to find solutions for safety concerns in schools. And what we're doing now is juggling, and it's just a matter of time. And I don't want that on my watch again. I don't never want to live through another Mount Tabor. I don't. I want to walk away from here in the next few years or whatever my term is without having another Mount Tabor. Superintendent McManus says the school district would need to work with the sheriff's office in securing funds and resources to pay for a way to screen more students more often. She says the current security systems require a hands-on approach that disrupts the flow of learning. To pull all of our teachers to do it is really not optimal um, because that's who I've heard the most from. And again, safety is our number one priority, so we will do whatever it takes. But we also need to know that there are teachers also ready to teach you know, algebra and teach what it is that they are needing to teach and be in classrooms to greet kids and to be ready. Forsyth County Sheriff's Office says the incident is still under investigation but represents the lack of metal detectors in Winston-Salem Forsyth County Schools. I don't control metal detectors in the school. I wish I did. I don't control funding. I wish I did. What I would like to see in place, I would love to see every school with a metal detector specifically high school and middle. We cannot keep skirting and flirting with danger. You can't. You can't. Open gate systems are a walkthrough portable technology that can be found in surrounding school districts like Rockingham. While the school board says training and testing are in the near future for the open gate systems, they would need more funding to be able to input the technology throughout all of their schools. So the solution, honestly, to, to get open gate, if it is the right tool to use, uh, we need about $2 million to put that in every one of our middle and high schools. The suspect was taken into custody following the incident yesterday, but their identity has not been released as the student responsible is a juvenile. In Winston-Salem, Bailey Stamos, ABC 45 News, standing up for you.